While Russia's attacks on the capital city intensify, thousands of Americans, many in North Texans, are trying to keep track of loved ones in the war zone. Many are choosing to leave the country by way of Poland or Romania, most collecting food, water, money, trying to stay out of harm's way. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager joining us now live with more. Peyton. Heather, and for the families that are staying in Ukraine, they are trying to find shelter wherever they can, whether that be the subway station underground or in their basement in their home. But North Texans tell me they're trying to stay in contact with their loved ones over in Ukraine, but it's becoming increasingly difficult. The city is currently forces. occupied. There is a Russian flag uh, on our main square. My family sits in the basement. Anna Oleksienko's loved ones look out their windows in Vovchansk, Ukraine, to a line of Russian military vehicles. <laughs> Oleksienko's father works as a customs officer on the Ukrainian-Russian border. She was on the phone with him as Russian troops crossed onto Ukrainian soil. I messaged him, is everything okay? Because Putin is announcing that there, now there will be war. And my father say, with silence, and while talking to him, I see he, he says like something starts and he started to drive and the bombs were like over him, over him, the way that he was moving. When her father safely reached their cottage home a few miles from the border, it was destroyed. My city's being bombed as we speak. My relatives are being bombed. Friday afternoon, dozens in downtown Dallas who have family members trapped in Ukraine stood shoulder to shoulder, hoping the violence will end. One of them, Yaroslava Vega. They can't go anywhere. They're stuck. They're terrified. And also Antonina Sadkovska. She says her family is taking shelter inside a gym, trying to save money and food. They put tapes on the window just so it kind of helps from like protecting from noise when they like explosion, like the explosion sound. They hear strikes, strikes everywhere, missiles, missiles, everything. Valentin Muzika's family members in Kyiv are pictured here huddled in their basement, including a two month old. He tells Fox 4 he's been notified some of his friends have already been killed fighting for their homeland. Muzika vows if he was there, he would also step up to the front lines. Just give me the gun and I'll go. Several of these North Texans tell me they cannot sleep tonight because a lot of them have family in Kyiv and with explosions already being heard in the capital city, they're just trying to stay in contact with their loved ones.